Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. I am here at the auction house and Lucas came down here early this morning, been getting at it all morning. Uh, we're gonna start here today. We gotta run out to the antique center. We got a house call to go on. It's gonna be an adventure today. Stay with us. Uh, today's episode at Burner Brother Antiques. All right, Luke, so what you got going on? What are you working on? Um, so right now I'm renaming the photos I'm not sure exactly why I have to rename the photos, <coughs> but I have to go through and select each um, lot and name it all under the same number, so that way they stay together, I guess. So you're merging for the auction catalog? Kind of, Mer yeah. Renaming right. photos for your auction. This uh -huh. is the 500 lot Monday sale you're working on? Yep. Okay. All right. Well, good deal. Keep it up. So I caught you down here today, too. What, what do you got going on? Well, <clears throat> I came to help Lucas out and get him on the right track with the pictures, but um, now I'm just uploading some videos to Facebook. Okay, good deal. So. So keep it up. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Well, we are getting some stuff ready, getting these booths cleaned up. We've had a massive move. So now we're getting all the mid-century booth reorganized and bringing some more stuff out to it. Got our jewelry put back in. And we got most of this set up over here. So kind of just working our way back. Working our way back to the back room. Good. Then we're here to get ready to go pick up a little estate we bought. Yeah. We have an estate coming in. It's got, I don't know, seven or eight really nice oil lamps in it. Um, a couple other uh, good pieces of little furniture. Nothing big. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it'll be good. All right, I'm going to go check out some salt bins, and then we'll get ready to leave. All right, sounds good. All right, Scout. Yeah, work going on today. What's going on? Tell us what's happening. Um, I'm making burgers and I just finished making cookies. Okay, burgers and cookies. So today's special is what? Uh, the, like the sirloin. Sirloin burger, steak burger, kind of. Yeah, it has the mushrooms and the gravy on it. Okay, so it's kind of a, a Texas style or something. I don't know what you call that. All right. I forget our name. So. Forget our name. Okay, well, cool. Well, we're happy that you're here today. Smiling Scout is on duty. So my current situation, I'm walking through a foot of snow here. Uh, a little pile coming up and I'm trying to get back over to my van. I got it started earlier and uh, it's cold out here. It's only three degrees. We'll see if this thing's warmed up any. Woo. We're gonna check out a couple soul bins before I take off on this house call. And I, I seen this yesterday and I thought, man, what a great buy. $435, Los Castillos. This guy is a great, uh, great artist. Uh, signed on the bottom, Hecho of Mexico. Uh, gorgeous work. I think this is one of the best pieces that was in the mall today. Um, yeah, I seen it in a showcase yesterday. I was talking to somebody else about it, and I said that's not going to last more than a day or two. It just came in, and now it's just going out. Here's a Briar horse as well, ten dollars on this one. Okay. Here's an artist signed proof as well up here. It's uh, four hundred and seventy-five dollars. You may go out. Signed Andre Masson, I think. Is that how you say that? Masson. Uh, anyways, that one sold. All right, Josh and I are on our way back to Sue's. Now, if you remember right, the first time we went here, spent this our third trip here. Uh, the first time we came, we bought a few things from her, and she was watching the Bengals game and wouldn't let us. Uh, <laughs> she right, wouldn't. Yeah. She wouldn't let us so do anything until the, the game Bengals was game's over. over. But now the Bengals are done. Uh, Sue, since then, has actually moved. Um, and she's in a new place, and everything left, she wants us to uh, just buy from her. And so we've worked out a price, and we're on our, on our way back to pick it up. So uh, we're getting ready to go pick up that stuff. We'll walk through and film and kind of show you. It's four degrees outside right now. <laughs> it's Four cold. degrees. It's really cold. What well, a great no, it's day three. to do pick it's up. three, Josh. Is it three degrees? It's three. It dropped. Yeah. So it's cold. We, it's super, super cold. Our van on the, fresh. on the way here, it started whistling. The, yeah, van. the truck was, I thought it was going to blow the transmission. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Something happened. It's cold. <laughs> it's yelling uh, at us. It's Sunday around noon, and uh, we are we're getting ready to pull into Susan. I think, are we still? Let's be left at this. this next slide. Okay, we're getting close. Anyways, and we're going to get this stuff loaded up. We're going to take you right in there with us and show you what we're going to keep and uh, what we're going to what we're gonna do with it. So, yep, let's go on in. Wish us luck. <laughs> We got going on here we went through the garage we pulled out the stuff that we're going to take with us and we're starting to fill the truck up here and the other stuff we got this other crew here they're going to get it all wrapped up and, and uh, get stuff out and we're back in the house here um, they're already going out with stuff you can go out the front door too if it's easier for you yeah there's a little is that is that pewter and stuff right there uh, that, that yeah josh cool. josh wants to take the pewter okay yep so we're working on it. Uh, we're pulling out stuff for going different directions with different things. So 
Uh, we'll get to it pretty quick. So Josh and I are pulling out the stuff that we're going to take to the antique center uh, or for our whatnot sales and the rest we're going to send off to auction. So we're just kind of going through stuff. We'll have to get that down and keep that one hung up at the antique center if we can when they're all done with everything. Yeah. But lots of miscellaneous stuff in here. And our pile's grown. We're still sorting. Okay, so we're going to load up. We got the, the marble top Victorian washstand here. And then we've got some stands and stuff here that's all going to go with us out to the antique center. This stand here is going with us out to the antique center. This stand here will go with us. Okay, so here, here's the uh, smalls that we got pulled. We got all the owl stuff here. Uh, we've got some rugs. We've got the little uh, baby vintage baby buggy. Uh, the lamps. Uh, all this miscellaneous stuff here. Uh, all the pewter and the glass all through here. This is all going out to the antique center. The table and all these oil lamps. Uh, all the, the Tom Clarks are going to go out here with us. And then there's some miscellaneous uh, Delft pieces and some Here's owl, this. bunch of owl stuff. And I like the snowman, or the uh, Santa Claus in the corner. And then the owl hook rug is pretty cool. And then in this room, this is the group that we decided to pull for the antique center. So we've got a Victorian chair, a little child's chair, uh, some fiesta wear. And Josh is getting boxes out. We're going to start packing it up. So we've got the beginning of the load right here. And then we're just going to get it all worked on. And then we've got a second truck and trailer over here for everything else, and that'll go to another auction. Uh, we'll get it all sold. So we are back out here at the heart, and Silka just showed up. So, uh, yeah, Silka, won't you tell our customers why you're here? Uh, to viewers. look at the future auction building. Yeah, what are you going to do back the there? plans are, I don't know. We're going to go mark it out and kind of make some space and uh, separate the rooms out, right? Sounds good. All right, let's go do it. I'm ready. I think I might grab a couple of sold bins on the way back. So this is really cool. Uh, Fostoria piece just sold for $49.99. Uh, same booth, there's some interesting items in here. So here's a plate, like a tile plate here with aluminum backing on it, $2. Now look at the malachite beads down there, those are fun. A big strand of malachite beads for $85. A uh, pair of boots, shagreen, these are at $48 on the shagreen boots. And right below it, some vintage clothing here, priced at $19.95. Looks like a blouse of some sort, a little blouse jacket, maybe. Nice little Corningware pot for $12.99. A pink rose vase for $10. Brown chenille for $65. And here we got an offer that just came in on a Santa Fe train, uh, $4.50. And then a whole group of stuff down here. So we got $15 on the mid-century piece, $7.50 on the American Faustoria, $6 on the Ironstone. Uh, next bin over, here's a big basket that just sold. A lot of stuff selling today, $78 on the basket. A ship's wheel here, like a small ship's wheel, priced at $69. Some marbles on the next shelf up sold for $19.95. And then to the left, there's a really cool red pottery basket, priced out at $35 with two handles on it. And then look at all the kitchenware. Just a fun group going out today. So what have you been doing today, Mamaw? We just came across Mamaw. We're going to go back and look well, at the auction. But come out here to see you guys. And then met my brother and my sister. Oh, Mom. yeah. They're, they're, they're here. Dee Dee's working. So Dee Dee's, well, you got the whole family out here. <laughs> that's right. We do. That's, that's fun. Did you guys find anything today? No. Nope, not, not yet? Not yet. Not yet. All right. We're just walking. <laughs> all right. We'll talk to you in a bit. We're uh, before we got back to the auction. Josh said, "Hey, you got to come over here and look at this. These guys just restocked, and th these are estate dealers that have a booth here." Um, so, Josh, tell tell us some of these prices in here. So, a lot of times with the furniture, they sell the other stuff more at a retail, but the furniture that they bring in, they just want it gone. So they'll they'll bring their stuff in here. This is a drop leaf table for thirty nine dollars. Thirty nine dollars on a rope twist drop leaf. It won't be here more than a day or two. Um, uh, the fern stand. Fern stand right there. That is These absolutely out of the mall. stunning got, fern stand. They've got this at 89 bucks. Plus you get 10% off. It's at $90 on that fern stand. Josh, I should buy that and put a vase on it. It's beautiful. Look at old, old finish fern. on it. That's a gorgeous fern stand. Marble top table. 100 bucks. $99. Yeah, $99. Top. How much is on the wicker stand? Look at that. Two piece. Hey, what? look at this. Right here. Oh, the wicker. $24. Oh <laughs> Yeah, twenty four ninety nine. Twenty twenty five dollars for that. Let's that. talk about making a little. That's a that'd be awesome in somebody's bedroom. You know, yeah, your little girl's bedroom. Have it sitting there. 
Isn't that amazing? Twenty five dollars. Look over here. This is their booth as they, well. They they just got a second booth because they got so much stuff coming in. Look at that big oak, big oak table down there with the rope twist base. Claw feet. Hundred and ninety nine dollars. Hundred and ninety nine dollars. Now, Scott could buy that table, put a few leaves with it, and oh, well, it's got leaves, Josh. Look at there. There's three leaves over there. Sitting over there for it. Three leaves already there for it. That's unbelievable. So they brought these dressers and I watched them unload them. That one has already sold. Yep, that one, they just came in. This one sold just in a matter of $129. minutes. $129. $129 each on the Victorian marble top dressers. $69. $69. Lamp is $29. $29. It's probably like a Royal royal Bond lamp. Royal this Luther little lamp. oak rocker, Jacob, $69. How much is on the nightstand there? I don't know. Has it got a price inside of it? No price? Cool little rope twist nightstand. Knowing them is probably 50 bucks. This little chest. $49 on a, on a, that's an oak chest underneath that. That's all solid oak. Painted, but that's, what do you like, Silka? Silka likes something over here. She said, look what I like. Oh, that is cool. This is an antique washing machine, but... They're porcelain. Like laundry room sink. And yes. they would be perfect for a laundry room wrong, sink. If my sink area was just a little bit bigger. <laughs> can't quite fit it. You can't fit it in? No. Oh, it looks cool. Unless you like redo it. Oh no, I, I'm not redoing anything. But I think this is really yeah. awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, the buys are here. Yes. Wow. Well, come check it out, guys. We're standing in building number four, um, right here, booth forty-one twenty-five, uh, is where you can come find the merchandise we just talked about in. Uh, Man, I'll tell you what, what a what a booth to buy out of, guys. Yeah, we're having we we all hit at an intersection together. You got Papaw, you got Josh, you got Silka over here, then we turn the corner, you got Mamma. Oh, look at him hiding around the corner. Uh-huh. I see you guys over there. It's all good. All right, well let's get back there to the auction, Silka. We're back here at eleven ten and uh, these guys have been selling like crazy. They've sold all these big bookcases a while back and they just got a restock in yesterday, so all the merchandise in here is all uh, just freshly restocked and uh, put in the booth here. So it's really cool stuff. These guys are, they move a lot of merchandise out, but just a uh, really good look in their booth. We featured this booth before, but I thought, hey, they just restocked. So let's, let's throw it on here too. Well, I, said, I really like the zebra rug. I'm surprised it's still here. Well, I mean, it's for sale. Put it online. It could be yours. Before Christmas sometime. <laughs> That's funny. It's still here. It's still I know, here. It would look really good where that high chair in our living room is gone. Put a zebra rug down instead. All right, we better get out of here and before you start spending money. <laughs> All right, Silka, so the, you got you, we just spent the last two hours in there working through how we're going to lay out the auction. Tell us about it. I like it. Can I come out next week? <laughs> Can we move now? <laughs> Can we move now? I don't know. <laughs> Josh, I don't think we're quite ready to move yet, are we? <laughs> we're getting closer, but not quite yet. Not quite yet. Well, that's so funny. Well, we did get it all all figured out. And uh, yeah, Josh and for me. Josh, there you go. Josh, birthday present right there. He's coming in. I like that weather vane. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. How much is it? It's all copper. 15? Yeah. So fifteen hundred dollars copper weather vane. That is absolutely stunning on the goose. Where's it say it's from? Nineteen ten. Circa nineteen. Western. Well, uh, Western Vermont. From Vermont. Western Circa nineteen ten. Western Vermont, Vermont uh, weather vane with a goose right here. Booth number sixty one uh, seventeen. Sixty one seventeen. Yeah. And uh, these, this guy Ken, he's always got great stuff, man. He he's been selling like crazy too. Here's the other birthday present. Ooh, I like the okay. fish. Are you kidding me? Look at the fish weather vane. That that's cool right there. Now that's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Yeah. No, I like that. That's a little folk art. That's definitely folky right here. Yeah, there's the bronzes are pretty cool, Josh. I'm not gonna lie. That's a big one, big old bronze there. Uh, well, I might as well just walk on through the booth now since we're here. Little horse weather vane back here. Here's another weather vane. Okay, let me get them over to that one. So here's a horse weather vane. This one's priced at 300. That's pretty cool. I like the fish better myself. All right, let's keep on looking. Uh, a lot of bronze. I'm gonna slide out the middle here. Ooh, I like this down here. It's like a boot jack or something. The ducks. This is really cool. Uh huh. Just interesting group. 
All right, well. Hold on, I think he's got another weather vane in his other boot. Oh, he does? Yep, look one? at that. Oh, now that's that's a different <laughs> story. Man, where did he get that thing at? That's <laughs> massive. Wow. Okay, th look at this weather vane. Large weather vane circa 1900 Rochester style found in uh, Maine. That thing's six foot tall, six foot five tall from the floor. Look and look at the rooster. Oh my golly. When did he bring all these in? Here's another one. There's another weather vane, another horse. What, Josh, when did he come and reload all this? I haven't uh, seen any of this yet. Birthday. Okay, well, I, I was gone. I, all right. You got that one, then you got the rooster up on top. There's another one. He'll be back uh, this weekend. He's That's weekend. so cool. He's coming back to do another reload? Yeah, he's got a bunch of really good stuff, he said. Well, I'm, I'll tell you what, I think what he's brought in looks really good. This is new. Oh, yeah, look at that. Victorian, book Victorian bookcases, another new one that just came in. Man. I believe this one is... It may have been here. I don't remember now. The, we just sold a yellow wear bowl like that. Uh, I filmed it yesterday. It had a chip, had a bunch of chips in it. How much is this one priced at? One forty nine. The one we sold yesterday was forty nine. It had probably ten chips in it. Wow. Okay. Well, that's really cool. I and mean, I like that lion lamp right there too. Gone with the wind lamp. That's something else. I'll tell you what. We got some. We got some absolutely stunning uh, merchandise that just came in the mall in the past few weeks. Did you see did you see this booth up here on the left with all the Asian stuff in it? I featured it yesterday. I don't know. This booth right here, Josh, 6245. Talk oh, about incredible seen. stuff in this booth. I mean, he's got it completely restocked and reloaded and uh, I was I was talking about it yesterday. This is this is crazy nice. Isn't that great, Mary Gregory? Mm -hmm. Stuff you just normally don't see, huh? No. I mean, I, I love that Arla Leak plate oh, right in the middle too. That is this I'm right here. Myself. I can see that bringing fifteen hundred at auction. It's at price at eight twenty-five. Mice in collection. I mean, I you just don't see this kind of stuff. And then all the ex Chinese stuff. There's some Chinese export in there. Some Chinese pieces. Some poison a. All the Japanese sword uh, sword pieces. The furniture. The uh, tsubas and stuff are in there. Gold inlays on them. Just great. I mean, just great, great merchandise. That's the craziest thing. We were only 20 feet from that booth with all those weather vanes, and now you got another booth here that's got other great, uh, great antiques in it. Incredible stuff here at the heart of Ohio. So here, here's another group of Roseville, all uh, Roseville mixing bowls and stuff. These are really cool. Really hard to find, especially in this kind of condition. I love the orange stripes. And then Josh said, come over here and look at this. This, Hey, Josh, they just loaded that up. They were here yesterday. I, 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 what I said, I hadn't seen Aren't those great those. carvings? They're they probably awesome. like French, I'm guessing, or uh, yeah, they say French on them. Those are fabulous carvings. They got $675 on that pair, but what a gorgeous case of stuff. And they just moved all this stuff in too. There's silver in here. Look at that big old silver set there. Oh, I gotta get my wife out of here before she spends all of her money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Josh, we we just I just came to a revelation. What? Sucker says, you know what? I'm out here all the time again. I can start buying again. <laughs> he said, this I move's have to gonna get cost my you. wife out of here, and I'm like, I'll be here all the time now. <laughs> this Sorry, move's gonna boy, cost you. you. It's gonna, I think it's gonna get real expensive to be moved back out here. I don't know. Emily works here on Sundays, and it costs me. You know. Yeah, Emily, Emily every Sunday. Now Sucker will be out here every day. It's gonna get crazy. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching today. We hope you enjoyed our episode of Burner Brother Antiques and. Uh, Blessings to y'all. Thanks for watching, man. We appreciate your guys' support. We're right here uh, Sunday evening. It's getting close to closing time, but we're at the middle of the heart of Ohio Antique Center. And uh, yeah, we got game night tonight, so we got to get going. Uh, anyways, blessings. Subscribe to both channels if you're not subscribed at Heart of Ohio Antiques and at Burner Brother Antiques. See ya. There they are. The whole family's here and they're all happy ordering wings. We're going <laughs> to You know what's so funny? I pull this camera out and our staff just runs the other way. They're all gone now. They were just standing there. Pull the camera out and they just zip right around the corner. Is mango habanero, I love it. Is that I love sweet it. Habanero? Thank you, sweet. Wingstop. Thank you, Wingstop. <laughs> Ordering wings right now. Josh, there you go. I got mine ordered and he walked over and was saying the same thing. So funny. Great it's minds like think alike. Like... It was mine, yeah, actually. It was your, well, see, like I said, great minds think alike, Scout. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I think.